Hi everyone, Kent Larsen here from Smart House Electric. Today I'm going to demystify the Buck Boost Transformer that here in tanning we use a lot uh, to regulate the voltage to have a perfect uh, running voltage for the tanning bits. In particular, um, the choke ballast system uh, where the ballast are designed to run at 230 volts so we got to do that in order to give the lamp the correct start and the correct uh, running voltage so we come out with the right output the equipment uh, a lot of it comes from Europe and so and over there everything is 230 volt to neutral everything is pretty much designed for that exact voltage uh, here we do have uh, here in the United States we do have a lot of equipment that uses the mag magnetic or uses some kind of electronic ballast quickly on the electronic ballast some electronic ballast do require a uh, that precisely the 230 volts as well especially high-end equipment of any kind but so back to um, a lot of equipment here from the States uh, uses the um, magnetic or in particular some of the older Tan America stuff and, and that sort of thing uses the magnetic ballast and that one can take uh, anything from 208 up to 240 volts uh, just easy and um, will come out with the same output. Uh, problem with those is that the efficiency um, is not very good meaning that it consumes more power compared to the output it's going to give on your lamps compared to a choke or a modern electronic ballast so that's why those are disappearing plus uh, the epa has a little bit of an issue with these magnetic ballasts as far as uh, recycling them um, uh, there's also some hearsay out there uh, that they are creating more emf um, it is something there's just kind of a theory it is not fully uh, connected that you laying in a tanning bed uh, for that amount of time a couple of times a week is going to have any effect what i want to run through is that how big of a booster you're going to need what what is it that you're going to be buying uh depending on what size tanning bed you have, of course, what kind of electrical load, because they are not all the same, depending on how many lamps and how much stuff there's going on inside of your tanning bed, it's going to have a bigger uh, consumption of electricity. And then incrementally, the booster will have to be bigger. On your tanning bed, there should always be something. When you're here in the United States, you'll have an ETL or UL listing. It's a little sticker that indicates what kind of load you have on your uh, your equipment that is pulling. And that goes for anything. If it doesn't have that, that means that you could be in trouble, uh, particularly if an, a, some a kind of inspector uh, comes by, certainly gonna wanna see that because that indicates also that it's uh, adhering to uh, safety. And if it doesn't have that ETL listing, uh, it could be a concern. And certainly an inspector will say that's a no-no. Um, for Europeans, it's a CE. One issue that I, that I do encounter is that sometimes that load will be given up here in wattage. That's kind of an oddball. I mean, we're looking for a, a, a service here, uh, rated an amperage, and uh, can see. Look at this this booster here. Its capacity is mentioned in KVA. Uh, here it's 0 0.50, so half a KVA. Kilo stands for 1,000, so that means that it is. 500 VAs meaning of uh, 500 volt amperes so that's 500 watts so now that sounds like that's going to be way off of this guy here and it might be but it's not as 
as far off as, as uh, you might think. But And then secondly down here, here's where you want to uh, pay attention to. Is, this is a 1632. So that's what we're boosting on, the, on, um, on a 120 or 240 circuit. Um, so if we have two phases across <clears throat> our incoming voltage, you're going to be able to either buck or boost with 16 or 32 in this one. Another common one for tanning, one that I prefer over this 1632 is a 1224. It just seems to hit the final voltage a little bit better. Um, so, but, um, both very common. Um, so, okay, so let's, let's, let's crunch some math here. So, our machine's ETL listing says 11,200 watts. That's what it's consuming total. Okay. Let's say it's a single phase load. That's what, uh, that means that it needs, it requires two hots, uh, from the service meaning it's a two pole breaker in our uh, panel. And so for us to dissect the 11,200 watts, we're gonna have to divide it by this magic number here. And so the single phase load for, for this becomes 50 amps. That's our load. And so many times the ETL listing will write what it requires as far as uh, as a circuit. And I will imagine that if this was a bit that existed, that the recommended breaker size would be 60 amps. If it only gives up the, um, the load, which also is something that, that does happen, it, then, um, uh, uh, you should go for it for certainly for a 60 amp here now so back to this here now 1632 so depending on what kind of uh, uh, voltage you're gonna be boosting with in this case or bucking let's take the 16 16 volt AC that's what we want to boost it with so if you're 208 we're going to be throwing it up to 224 but in this configuration and in part two i'm going to get into that that second configuration uh let's see here so and we have a 50 amp load this is ohm's law by the way so volt times amps that's going to give what that's going to give is what how much energy that the booster will have to contribute in order to fulfill this application of adding that 16 volts your service already provides the initial voltage or let's say 208 and so it's only the 16 extra volts that's going to be contributed by the booster and i will show you in the diagram in this in part two why that is that it's not the entire thing that is going to be contributing so 16 times 50 gives 80 volt amperes and that's equal to 0.8 kva because because kilo means 1000 and so for a 50 amp load and we want to boost with 16 volts or buck with 16 volts you need a what that will equals to is a 1.0 kva buck booster let's see here because there's some sizes difference but let's see here what happens let's say it was a 1224 booster and we only wanted to bu uh, boost or buck with 12 volts i want to show you this most of you have probably already figured this one out, but let's see here. With 50 amp load, 600 VA. So that's a 0.6 kVA. 
So now we're able to put that down to a 0.75 by lowering um, how much we want to boost the voltage with. So that's pretty interesting. But let's go all the way up here to 32 volt AC. 50 amps. And now all of a sudden we're up in 1600 VA 1.6 KVA and our first matching size to that is a 2.0 so see what voltage we're we're boosting with really has a tremendous impact on um, on what size booster it is and that's it for uh, part one here on to part two in the next video for how to connect this and so we can get the correct voltage thank you for watching rescue your tanning bed a book written to primarily salon owners but certainly also uh, you if you own a, a a tanning bed in your home this can be quite advantageous to go through um, what your tanning bed like as an environment because that's what we're getting into in this book as far as electricals cooling um, cleaning the machine and why we do that and uh, why it also has a has a, uh, a technical effect to uh, to the equipment um, troubleshooting tips how you keep track um, and and uh, logically moving forward towards a solution all these things are uh, things that we're getting into in in, uh, in this um, technical service and repair guide here and um, thanks for watching